Um, I'm sitting here with Kun Gon Jatika Banif, and the two get news have a few questions for you, okay? Sure. Okay, first of all, what is the bar party? When it's formed, who are its main member already? And what does the bar party hope to achieve? Wow, a lot of questions. Yes, um, I know. But bar is a new party. Yes. Uh, it was formed last year. Mm -hmm. Really, by a variety of people with a shared goal. Yeah. of uh, making Thailand politics uh, better and making Thailand a better place, yes. uh, creating uh, good economic opportunities for all Thais, mm -hmm. um, bringing wealth and increasing income for all. Okay. Um, and it's something that we think is missing mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the Thai political scene and we want to give the people a better choice. Oh, okay. okay. Um, question number two. Uh, the two current members of the parliament for Phuket are both from the ruling Palak Pashalat party. Mm -hmm. What attributes are you specially looking for among Thailand candidates for the Gar party? Well, I think the, the main issue um, mm -hmm. in the mind of uh, Phuket residents mm -hmm. uh, is one concerning livelihood, economic okay. livelihood, uh -huh. quality of life yes. uh, in general. And I think the past couple of years have been very hard Mm -hmm. um, on Phuket, um, and so candidates that understand these issues, candidates that have something to say, um, and with a clear plan uh -huh. as to how to alleviate the economic difficulties mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Phuket citizens, yes. are the ones that uh, we want representing the Kla Party, and I'm sure um, are the qualities that Phuket voters will be looking for come the next general election. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, you have already recognized how much the people of Phuket has suffered under the COVID economic yeah. crisis. What are your plans to alleviate that suffering, both in short term and in long term? I think the short term, um, clearly Phuket <coughs> uh, live and thrive with tourism. Yes. So we need to get that back. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that basically <coughs> is the developing development of the current program of the sandbox in, mm -hmm. into uh, full opening, or full reopening of okay. Phuket. The quicker we can do that, uh, the quicker uh, livelihoods will, will improve uh, for uh, Phuket residents. Um, and the, <clears throat> the, the trigger uh, to reopening clearly concerns uh, health and safety issues. Uh -huh. So the fact that um, Phuket residents are receiving that third shot um, mm -hmm. of the vaccine uh, it's a good thing. I think by the middle of this month, mm -hmm. uh, I estimate that 50% uh, of Phuket residents will have received their third shot. So we're moving towards uh, a level when I think uh, it will be safe uh, mm -hmm. for Phuket to reopen and, and go back to normality. Mm -hmm. And once we can, uh, in every aspect, mm -hmm. or do we want to take this opportunity to review uh, mm -hmm. what is good for Phuket? In, in the long term, in terms of the, the type of tourist uh, mm -hmm. industry uh, that Phuket has. In my view, Phuket is a, is a global premium destination. Yes. Uh, everything about Phuket should be world class. Mm -hmm. uh, already, uh, the beaches and, and the, the, the people are already world class. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we have to face the fact that uh, infrastructure, uh, broadly speaking, is still substandard. Mm -hmm. um, care for the environment um, is still probably not as good as we'd like to, to see it in order to preserve what we have for future generations. Mm -hmm. So um, I think there's a lot of work to do still uh, to uh, up-level um, yes. Phuket into a truly premium destination. Mm -hmm. um, there are also, in my opinion, other uh, potential for, for Phuket, especially for the young generation. I see Phuket in the future uh, to take advantage fully of the ongoing work from home or work away from home uh -huh. um, uh, um, trend uh -huh. uh, and and develop Phuket into a, a tech hub, uh -huh. uh, develop Phuket into uh, a hub for digital nomads from around the world to develop startup here. Uh -huh. uh, so I think that's a lot of opportunities. People have also been talking to me about opportunities for Phuket regarding even premium agriculture. Uh, oh, the fact okay. that uh, Phuket, I think, uh, has, has, has uh, suffered uh, during COVID from lack of food security. Mm 
the fact that it needs to be importing virtually everything uh, to get uh, eats um, means that I think that's reawakened uh, some some thought regarding uh, potential of developing high-end premium agriculture uh, in order to support uh, food business and food residents. Wow, that's great. That's um, Many Phuket people have long called for Phuket to be granted more autonomy in yep. its own administration. Yep. With many local residents witnessing years of bank based decision dismissing the island's critical needs, mm -hmm. do you believe Phuket people should have more say in the political decision that affect their lives and have an elect governor as they have in Pattaya instead of the appointed one from Central? 100%. I, I totally agree with that sentiment. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, two days ago, yeah. we already announced this as our official stance and official policy for Phuket. I think wow. Phuket is, is more ready than any other province uh, in, in, in Thailand uh, for devolution. Mm -hmm. um, it should be able to elect at least its own, its own governor. Yeah. Um, the governor should have uh, power over the uh, the budget, mm -hmm. um, in order to make sure that everything that we've discussed just now uh, mm -hmm. regarding improvement of infrastructure quality and everything else um, is, is is done uh, for Phuket uh, by the Phuket people. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as I said, 100% agree with, with that and will be uh, Pakla official policy. Oh, okay, that's really good to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, last question. Okay. Okay, in terms of improving the economy, what are your thoughts on the volume of the trade already conducted with China, especially mm. Chinese company and the Chinese government? Mm. Do you foresee or indeed will aim for greater trade with China? Mm. I think that's an inevitable trend mm -hmm. uh, as uh, the Chinese economy grows, yes. its proximity to Thailand, mm -hmm. the fact that the Chinese people uh, appreciate Thai goods and services yes. means that trade with China uh, will grow, which is a good thing. Uh -huh. uh, we of course need to make sure that the trade is, is fair uh -huh. uh, and that Thai is fully benefit uh, from trade, not just in China, but with everybody else. Yes. Um, uh, we get a good deal, basically. Uh -huh. And I think it is of concern, uh, not just in Phuket, but uh, elsewhere in Thailand also, that a number of businesses um, uh, are now in Chinese hands. Yes. So we must make sure that when Thais do business, uh, when Chinese do business with Thai companies, that these companies as much as possible uh -huh. belong to Thais, uh -huh. and so that Thais can receive uh, full and fair uh, benefit from that trade. Uh -huh. So continue to develop uh, trade links uh, with, with China definitely, but make sure uh, it's the kind of trade that Thais benefit from. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. My pleasure.